What's up guys, Tony Hannity's here for Lazy Tech TV and we're here at the Pepcom event and first off we're going to check out Energis and this is Gordon Bell, um, one of the representatives from the company. Why don't you go ahead and tell tell the uh, the listeners and viewers what Energis and the WADA product is. Sure, we do uh, wireless charging of small electronic devices. So anything about a size of a tablet and smaller. So your earbuds, your fitness trackers, even small devices such as hearing aids and other very small devices. Um, we do charging from a very close distance contact charging all the way up to about 15 feet. So a full living room environment, a boardroom. Okay. Uh, and then they can also mesh together so we can actually cover more than that with mesh transmitters. So this is different than like PMA or WMA where you actually have to place it on the transmitter itself you are emitting, similar to Wi-Fi, a signal, an RF signal or something? Yeah, so our product is, is a radio frequency based, so it's an RF based charging technology. Uh, we have a very close, what we call a contact charging solution, and I'll show that to you here. Um, but then we also move off of that and go into a desktop in the air charging and wells in the full room charging. Uh, we anticipate uh, first products to be using something like this. This is a miniature transmitter, and what the goal of this transmitter is, is to replace this in the box, right? Uh, everything you buy nowadays, it's, whether it's a fitness tracker or earbuds, they all have to be charged, right? right? And they typically have to have the solution to charge in the box. They all have to have something like this. Um, those companies want to get rid of that wires, the cables, the power adapters that are different for each country, right. and they can do that with something like this. Okay. Uh, so cost-wise, it's very similar for cost reasons, but that allows them to get rid of things like the little the tiny port, right? The port, yeah. Um, Make it waterproof, possibly. Exactly. Do other advantages, right, other, right. other buttons. And then that product becomes fully waterproof and also can charge from that mid-size or the desktop charger or this room charger down the road as those come out. How long do you think it would be if it wasn't from zero to 100% on the battery? How long would that be? So desktop charger would be something that can charge anything we call two to three foot range. Okay. And it really depends on a few different things. It won't charge as fast as plugging into the wall. Okay. But it's going to be more of a convenience. Just like with Wi-Fi, it's nowhere near as fast as Ethernet. Right. Same type of thing. We anticipate that as you get coverage in your home and your office, whether it's you know a transmitter that's on your desktop or something on the wall that covers the whole the whole area you're never going to be losing power on your phone. I can charge my, the, the system can charge my phone at a different rate that it charges my watch or my Bluetooth headset or other devices. So and kind it can of charge like, based on what that battery wants to be charged at. So kind of like how you can specif uh, specify on Wi-Fi, I want this connection to be stronger versus this connection. Correct, yeah. Okay. So with the mid-size transmitter and our full-size transmitter, we actually identify the devices that are local to it, that are in range. Through a, through a Bluetooth communication channel. Now, the device that you have, that's that's more of proof of concept right now, I'm assuming, but... Um, so, yeah, this is a full-size vision uh, model for what we call a full-size transmitter. Okay. But a transmitter doesn't have to look like that. That looks like a device, right? Uh, transmitter technology can be embedded into other things. So, for instance, uh, two years back at CES, we showed a, a, a pretty big television that around the bezel had our transmitter technology. Oh, and okay. it could charge different things because that transmitter technology is spread out around the bezel. Just being in the living room or what have right, you. Right. So, so something like this or the TV, how many devices can simultaneously be charged? It's a limitation of Bluetooth. So we okay. max out at 12 for a single okay. transmitter. The amount of times you need to charge 12 devices at any given time is probably pretty small. Kind of rare, but it you know maybe seven or eight at, at the same right. time. Most other devices like my remote control, my games, you know, my, my game controllers, those things it, it can schedule it to charge when you're not in the right. you're not in the room, you're not needing power for your phone, and do those things in the middle of the night. What kind of partners, if you can say, if any? Well, can we expect to see in remote controls or gaming c controllers right. or headsets for that matter? We see strong interest from a lot of different companies. One of the partnerships we announced about a year ago, um, it's an unnamed partner. Okay. Um, it is an unnamed partner in the consumer electronics business. They have some <clears throat> what they call first to market advantages for certain products. Um, so, we, you know, we're working with them uh, pretty uh, regular. They're 
you know, at our location almost every day. Um, and they're looking at some specific, unique uh, applications for their products. Uh, but there's a lot of different products that even ex expand beyond that, right? Well, it sounds like there's a lot of possibilities in the future for your company yeah. to partner with a lot of o other OEMs and ODMs. Um, is there any uh, anything else you'd like to uh, let everybody know or how they can find out more about the company? Yeah, uh, Energist.com, that's E-N-E-R-G-O-U-S.com. Or if you just search on What Up, you'll find a little bit of information about us. Uh, we anticipate products from our first uh, partners to start coming out the very end of this year, early next year time frame. So stay tuned. Great. Gordon, thank you so much. Right, I appreciate it. Stay tuned, guys.